Hello everyone, I am back with some more trending stories coming from everywhere. Okay, so the story that I have for right now is coming from Zimbabwe, South Africa. Then we've got a bit of TikTok and a little bit from Kenya. So let's get straight into it. But before we even go any further, please like, comment, you know, share, subscribe so that you don't miss on this and more. Let's get straight into it. Now, South Africa is going to be importing water from Zimbabwe. Yes, that's the headline. South Africa is going to be importing water from Zimbabwe. Now, there's a bilateral agreement that was signed on Thursday, the 14th, between Zimbabwe and South Africa, where Zimbabwe is going to be supplying about 15 million cubic meters per annum. That is an equivalent of 41 megaliters per day of treated water from Bait Bridge Water, water Treatment Works to the Mucina Municipality, okay? And this water is going to be passing via a 20 kilometer pipeline. So, an MOU was signed, of course, on Thursday, uh, you know, uh, for between South Africa and Zimbabwe uh, about, you know, the supply of uh, treated water. You know, and also reports say in Messina, there are about 132,009 people living there, that is in, in villages and also in that uh, small town. Of Messina. But again, we might also want to know that there are also an influx of Zimbabweans who live in that area of the Messina Bait Bridge area. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of comments that are being made on social media. People saying, Well, why does South Africa have to pay for that, you know, for that water since there are Zimbabweans who are also residing in Messina in large numbers? So let the water just pass through and let it be helping Messina, you know, to cope with the influx of also Zimbabweans who are living in Messina. But my friends, it doesn't work like that. Okay, as long as the water is coming from another country into another country, then it becomes, you know, a transaction or something of a bilateral agreement that has to be done. So in this case, this is where we are seeing this, uh, you know, um, MOU that was signed between the two countries supplying the water there. There are about 192 villages, uh, villages rather, uh, in, in Mosina with one town, okay, the one that we already know. Okay, so on the very same day, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Botswana, and Mozambique also signed the amended, you know, uh, Limpopo Water Coast Commission Agreement, uh, you know, which is a transboundary trans organization established by four countries that I've already mentioned to use management of shared water resources in an equitable manner. Now, March is the National Water Month in South Africa, which is an expansion of the Water Day observed on the 22nd of March. Okay, so the World Water Day, you know, is going to be observed on the 22nd of March and it runs by the theme Water for Peace, which focuses on the critical role water plays in the stability and prosperity of the world but of course the main focus of our you know story here was zimbabwe supplying treated water to south africa via the mosena and a lot of people have been commenting about this i've already spoken you know you know you already know when it comes to the issue of zimbabwe in south africa how it always goes now it takes me straight to Kenya. Now in Kenya, there's been some outcry after a certain company, a revenue company, was recruiting people to work there. However, it is said that they dismissed some applications after, you know, you know, requiring the applicants to go for medical checkup. However, it is said that uh, those uh, who were denied, most of them, you know, there's something to do with their HIV status, and some of them were pregnant. So about 133 applications were dismissed and now the MPs or the legislators are asking why did you refuse or reject those applications so the authority came out to say well you know they to do the medical you know uh, checkups but and you know these people were rejected for different reasons and also their rejection was confidential no one knows who exactly was rejected however still the legislators are saying, well, you cannot discriminate people because of their medical condition. Everyone deserves to work. You know, this is the, what the Constitution says. So for you to say people are rejected because of their medical condition, even if it's confidential, 
still it is wrong okay so that one is also trending you know we already know this kind of issues they happen everywhere i will one day share a story of what happens in china when it comes to hiv you know treat, uh, hiv um positive applications what they do to them and how they go about it i'm going to share a very interesting story about that now on the issue of tiktok how about, how about you wake up one day you can no longer access your precious prized tiktok i also have to ask you who is your favorite tiktoker from the united states i would say there are plenty of tiktokers that you follow interesting content interesting things happening on tiktok people are making millions of us dollars on tiktok however there's an issue that is here the american you know the us is saying well tiktok has to be banned if they refuse to sell their company to united states the united states wants to buy this biotech uh, dance company that owns the tiktok they say well this is because of the national security as data is involved you know however china is saying stop lying to the people there is no evidence that china is stealing any data there is no evidence of security of national security being threatened because of tiktok what is the problem is that the competition that you're having with china what is it and many netizens and many tiktok tiktok users again are saying well please don't ban tiktok please however america is giving conditions with this bill that was signed it's called them protecting americans from foreign adversary controlled applications act okay it has already been signed in the first stage however it still needs to go to the senate if the senate signs it and then it goes to the white house and the white house has also issued a statement saying well if ever the bill comes on the table president joe biden is going to sign it into law and you do know what it means it means it's going to be banned if the tiktok company refuses to sell within six months of the bill being signed so they'll be given six months to sell or to be banned in usa which means they're going to be blocked from all u.s applications from the websites and everywhere else. you cannot access it anymore you know you can imagine how frustrated it, you know frustrating it will be to wake up one day with a tiktok especially for tiktokers who are making millions of dollars it's become one of the you know greatest you know uh what call it industries i would say you know however president uh you know the former president that is general trump was saying well if you ban tiktok then it means you are going to be promoting facebook and also promoting other applications which are equally dangerous you know so it's very interesting we're going to see how it's going to play around when it comes to tiktok there however uh, a lot of tiktokers are saying please don't do it you know when a, an application is banned you wouldn't understand the frustration you have to ask us who live in china how frustrating it is if an application is banned or you have no access to certain applications it's really frustrating but anyway so these are some of the trending stories i will just give you some of these stories i will repeat again the issue of tiktok because america TikTok it could threaten a national security to America. So when a bill evil Ravana Rakato Sainiwa removes the Iro protecting Americans from foreign adversary controlled application act. You know change it as the Americans could was a tori rad data rawa and data. Saka America Yakato Saina first stage Yakato Pinda is a passiwa, you know, my party is a remo America, my political party with Wakato in Bumir. Now yes of each end of Senate, yeah, but Senate Yoza end of Nan. It can sign one in the Senate. The moment Yango Shika Kuna President Waka is sign into law, what it means is Van Rizive TikTok. TikTok company Irim Beijing, Irim China. Okay. Van Rizive TikTok Vanu for six months. They could either Vanu Tenge Sera, America, TikTok, Kanakut, Vanu Banua, US. Chicha Mufungo de Chichanga Chichi. Let's just see how it's going to be. The most crucial part is going to be the Senate. Kanawaka iti. Yes, ino niwa, vanu vavai ban. Now, TikTok yuk chene yaka mbaita senda. Kanzo wano wakawanda wa chiti well, they're going to, wanta nga kushandisa 
tiktok ya kuchena ndi kudakuza makuchana sachi shona so that mino zwa china zwa nengi ndishaura wanya nyoku zhida because mino zwa ati niyazi ma application zizi zine politics politics zizi mwa mkari so kanyari kwa ndi kuyo application ya tiktok ya mchena yaka fanana yere ni tiktok international vision zaka fanana asia zina kufanana international vision yaka siyana because it open kumanyika jesu zaka siyana however ye china ino ngushan suwa ni ma ni ma chinese reason ni sinto ma chinese wa haadi kutu wa nivavo vange vati wana izu zaka wanda wanda zunwe chika kuma western countries because mwono zwa kuti ma western countries there is freedom wana express themselves in any way they want it ma western countries they mwono wana kutu ma tiktok eku tiktok ye international vision vanhu vanenge vakashama vanhu vanotamba vakashama vanhu vanorara vese pama live video vanoita sei vanda zvakawanda wanda zviri a little bit mamorals akati siyanei because haina kunyo nyokudi kunyanyo sunga sunga because vanhu vanogara kumanyika dzakaita sana america vanogara kunyika dzekuma western countries vane freedom yekuita zvo vanoda saka vanokwanisa kupfurura hembe hapana anomvunza kuti wapfurura chi vanokwanisa kurara hapana anomvunza kuti kumarara chinese pama life saka vanozvi saka zvakasiyana Nye kuchaina. Nye kuchaina cha unu kwa sangona, vanu waru kudika, vanu waru kudua, vanu waru kudenza, vanu waru kuinda for tourism, vanu waru kudziza, vanu waru kudenza. It's all about food, selling, this and that, this and that. No vision nechi ye kuchaina. This is how they try, you know, manage to control. Saka wazo beti pawa nechi neku mixana mixana. Ndo musiana uri papaka chie tiktok ye kuchaina ni tiktok ye international vision. Ye kuchaina iri regulated, iri controlled. It's family friendly, it's children friendly because jinuwa ni kwa ipapu, zinu zinendra na ne zinu nje kuti pani production mukati, pani kufara mukati ma dances, you know, kusona sona kubika bika kudroa droa, kung fu, you know, traveling, movies, football, all those kind of stuff. Those are the things I know, jinuwa ni kwa pani ma tiktok ye international vision. So this is all I have for you, my friends, but let me run down again panyanda tanga kutawara nende ye kuti I mean, Zimbabwe ni South Africa, zilinda sitenge sara na mvura South Africa changa ishe nga mvura kubeti bridge, waterworks, ishe nga mumesina kutapila mvura, mesina sejo mwono zwa kutu mvura ino neta, mumesina saka, ndo saka vaita agreement hii, kutiba niwe mesina wa wano wa wane mvura asi, kwa social media vani waru kutu well, I think South Africa ni kama wakana kutombo badira mare, panyaya ye mvura ye, because iyo ma Zimbabwe nza kawanda ano gara mumesina wano gara mvura, kawande si watu rine nisha, Nyeji hizo ma business hawa na ita mesina saka apa fa ngo tu watu ngo in other ways ingawa ngo share ya kuto mvuranga ingo wepo ba nyeze wa wana mvura since mesina wa magramu ni mazimba benza kwa wana andi zuri guys kuto iyo yonya ya muno iyo na sene yonya ya kenya na bota wala nje zoe kuto kenya varu kuto varu wakanzi ingawa no testi wa kuto wana utachu wana yere basa tewa wana mabasa wakawanda watu na bota 133 people anzo wakarambi zo it's a revenue collection company ima taxes ya kai chita zuni wakadi wakarambi zo kuto watu inde mabasa ma application za waka rejecta mchuro mekunga vaya nda undergo HIV testing meshi ni ma pregnancy test and litika sesha muno zwa kutu nana kenya before wa shanda unutango wa mbenda ino nzipala military training ya wano no training wa kutu kushanda you know ino nzipala pala military training ino itua before wa tango wa kushanda saka wari kutu well some of these people waka rejecta wasa tu watu mbenda wako ende iyo kwa company actually ino rekutu ya kati well saka wa zinga atina kuba ukuza anyone nezo masta wa kutu ndi wana nindi na nindi waka rejecta. However, ma MPs are kuti still, even kungoto wa rejecta kwa makaita, zinu enda against the constitution inota hakuna discrimination na nyofa wangwa kuiti, nyokuda kwa kuti mwono, ane utachuwana, kana kuti nyokuda kwa kuti mwono, ano ruwara, nichi rore cha kaita say. This is all I have for you, my friends, and until I come back again, please subscribe and stay, and wanofarira bora, please come to Facebook, Sport of Ziki Media, where we cover all the nitty gritties, everything football, you found it there, and today we're going to be seeing the FA quarterfinals that are going to be played, we're going to be seeing Chelsea, we're going to be seeing Liverpool, we're going to be seeing Manchester United, a lot of more games that are going to be played. Please just come and follow the sports with Ziki Media so that you don't miss on this and more. Until then, thank you for your support. Subscribe and stay. Like, comment, and share.